party issues. I'm going to lower this down a little bit. And I think it plays in favor of John Brazil. I'm watching the pre-show. We say Just got home from work. Will we say I can't see Kingdom Table 6 yet because it hasn't been uploaded. Uh, and I haven't seen it live yet. I hear it's an awesome event. Can't wait to see it. Hope it is as awesome as everybody says. So in the meantime, I'm going to be doing a biceps and back workout. Um, and uh, pardon the... Uh, the big gut tonight. I just ate literally like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so it was my big meal for today. Anyway, I'm going to be, uh, I have my pre, my uh, easy curl bar set up with 100 pounds. I have my hammer curl bar set up with 100 pounds. I have my Olympic bar barbell set up just by itself. That's for reverse curls. That'll take care of my, uh, my biceps. Then I'm going to do uh, some rows, probably some bent over rows, which I'll drop the camera so you can see that. Some bent over rows, maybe some one arm supported rows, and if I feel up to it, some pull-ups. I practiced last night. Normally I have two days in between practice and my bicep workout. I practiced last night. I am super sore. So if this looks like it's killing me, there's a reason. Um, I'm also keeping the weight pretty high because I want to try to do five sets of five. I really want to focus on building strength. So we're going to see how this goes and uh, we'll go from there. I gotta get some sort of stand or something so I can put that bar on it. I think it's so I can lift that off of there. Because that's a pain in the ass. What about like salt versus? Yeah, maybe. So those ones that we have in the shed coming down? I don't know. I'm recording, so. I think that would work. Bring them in tomorrow. That's why it's better to do it seated too. I may pause the camera and do it seated. And I'm in frame. Can't tell. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. Should Dennis be worried? Are you um, still recording? For me, so I'm yes, sir. Oh, and, uh, sorry. Okay. I thought you were actually working the camera for me. <laughs> Enjoy the rest and the and the uh, and the uh, commentation. Well, pardon my uh, child, as usual. 
in every video I upload, you can hear my wonderful child that is three years old and doesn't know how to take no for an answer, yes for an answer, or anything else for an answer. She just likes to cry all the time. But when she's an angel, she's an angel. Anyway, that's it. Uh, Well, the stream just became available, so now I got to work out while knowing that it's there. <laughs> Apparently, I'm bleeding somewhere. I think that stop rope, top rope is definitely good enough. Will it be strong enough? We will find out in, in the tail of the tail. Is Don't know where. Enough. Round number one will tell us everything about this match, in my opinion. Because if we see something uh, buckle in Lennon's hand. Hell, that might have been barbecue sauce. <laughs> if we see nothing changing, just more of eating up Hermes, and Hermes getting more tired, more tired, the match will not shift, in my opinion. But. His couple is pre pretty much perfectly designed for the style 11 to be the, the difference will be the strength. And uh, I am so excited for this match. Pretty much we can see passing the torch. The next guy, the next guy that is the number one on the planet. Or we will see the continuous domination of Lemon Second Shirley. Will it be easy? Or will he, will he finally see that he is human? Speaking of, if you can quickly get over there and see if you can get Hermes Gasparini, he is just there and he's talking to John and oh. his demeanor, uh, his, his attitude, his body language, he's up and about. He feels really good and here he comes. <laughs> Hermes Gasparini, so uh, that. Apparently, Give him a the flex. weight Give cut me? I don't know. Something. Uh, to that camera right there. Yeah. Give him a flex. My or I'm just pushing so hard it busted my skin. I don't really know, but there's a little dot on my tattoo that's bleeding. Oh, well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up these two sets. I'll pause the video for you. It'll just be a split second. When I come back, I'm going to finish my workout because I want to watch the events. So that's what I'll probably end up doing. Oh, that, that's that person. That is a person. So it's the damn cats. I don't know. <sighs> like the stream is ready to go now, so uh, now I'm kind of losing my motivation to work out and watch the damn stream. And I can't play the stream while I'm recording because it's pay per view content and it'll be stricken. Well, pause it. Uh, I'm going to do these last two sets, pause it, watch the stream, and then uh, come back and do the rest of my stuff. I gotta stop uh, shaking everyone's head. Uh, my mate, the grits and everything. I mean, after Levant, I crushed my skull last night at a press conference. That was fun for my eight hours. Oh, Lou, you were supposed to be fun. Yeah, I got so, a dot or something on my. 
on the eye of this that's bleeding. I was covered in blood on the first set. I was like, okay, what the hell? So they say for strength training, lower reps, higher weight. Um, I mean, it kind of feels good to move heavy weight, but I'm in a lot of pain. So to me, you know, this should be heavier weight. Like I should be able to do heavier weight, but uh, like I said, I uh, had that big practice last night with Nick. Him and I stayed on the table for damn near an hour straight. And we were not playing around. I was pulling as hard as I could. Again, a video that was lost. And the reason why it was lost is my phone didn't want to upload a 13 gigabyte video to my computer. I think I got to get a new USB cable or something. And when it did, it corrupted the file because then I went to go upload it directly from my phone to YouTube and it was gone. So I didn't delete it this time. I think the phone corrupted it somehow. And, but I honestly think it's the YouTube, it's the uh, USB cable because anything over like 10 or so uh, gigs, it doesn't want to do it. So yeah, it might need to hook it up to 3.0. Yeah. So, um, I will, uh, I will try to figure that out and be more careful in the future. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's what happened. So that one got lost. You didn't miss much. Nick absolutely destroyed me. And then, uh, Ben showed up like 45 minutes late and uh, yeah, yeah, he had traffic. It wasn't his fault. And, um, Nick and I, uh, did pretty well against him, although, you know, it was very, very tough. He's, he's a strong kid. Um, and we were teaching him a bunch of techniques. So yeah, we did miss out on that, unfortunately, but, uh, but yeah, Nick was absolutely a ton. I mean, he, which just proves that paper lifts do not translate to the table necessarily. That was the big takeaway because on paper, I just about have caught him in every lift. Hell, I think I've surpassed him in pronation and maybe even cup. Um, and he decimated me last night. Um, so yes, a lot of that has to do with him being a year more experienced than me. So his connections are a lot better, but his tendons are stronger. His ability to access his power is better than mine. Um, so yeah, I mean, there was a couple of times where I started to figure some things out, but it's still, all it did was slow him down. It didn't stop. Um, the only time it really stopped him is when he kind of let me get in a perfect spot and then he couldn't fight out of it. But, uh, and he told me today, he did a very heavy workout as I'm doing and his hands and wrists were killing him, but his arms were fine. It's the complete opposite with me. My hand and wrist, both of them feel pretty good. Now I woke up kind of feeling sore, but they're feeling pretty good. My arms are killing me. So it just proves his arms are super, super strong. His hand is super strong, but my hand and wrists are very, very good. My arm is is the weak spot. Um, so I'm building up my arms. That's what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah. And I don't think he really has a weak spot. I think he's a very all, you know, very well-rounded puller. It's just my hand and wrists are just better, um, which I take as a huge compliment. He's the one who paid it to me first. I take it as a huge compliment, but... Uh, Last night I couldn't tell you I couldn't like my pronation was better, but he could cut he could cut through my pronation and access his power easier than I could pronate through his cup and access my power. So <laughs> experience paper lifts don't mean shit when you're on the table that kind of stuff. <clears throat> All right, that'll do it for now. I'm gonna go watch East vs. Or I'm uh, sorry, uh, King of the Table Six, and uh, I'll be back a lot less sweaty, and I'll finish out my uh, workout. So I'll take it easy. All right, I got to try to make this quick because my baby's got to go down, and the things I do for the camera, I'm actually gonna do this kind of reversed. But there's a uh, 155 total on the bar here which you can't see me, I'm sure, but 155 total. This is kind of the first time I'm actually loading up this bar <laughs> at all with any weight. It's kind of cool. And all I'm gonna do is like some bent over rows, not even that bent over. Just wanna work the back. <clears throat> 
felt pretty good. Probably could do a little bit more, but that's okay. 155 feels pretty good. Remember, I'm going for five sets of five. I'm going to try to rep them out. better with a closer grip, I think, could be wrong. So I just got done watching uh, King of the Table 6. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but it was absolutely amazing. Great, great matches. Um, while I was watching, I took an empty bar and just did three sets of 10 for reverse curls. They hurt like hell, but that was just to finish off my biceps. And then I did uh, one set of my hand and wrist. I didn't even do the cupping yet, so I still got to do 100 reps of cupping. But in any case, keeping you up to date, it's been shit two and a half hours since the last time you saw me, even though for you it was a blink of an eye. <clears throat> Messing up my new my new bars, man. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, peeling the tape on that one. Oh well. Whatever. So that was three, if I'm not mistaken. Not doing deadlifts yet because two things I don't have a belt um, and three or two um, never done them yet so I'm working my way up to it so uh, kind of the same way Bowen was doing I'm doing uh, the bent over rows and uh, you know working my back that way and not to mention the bent over rows work more of your upper back which carries over to arm wrestling a whole lot more than the lower back so I'm going to try with a narrower grip and see how that feels. I believe that was five sets. But if not, I'll go for one more because I don't remember. I'll make it quick. I'm starting to get calluses right behind the ring finger again. good all right so 155 for uh five sets of five six sets of five whatever that was i'll be right back all right i'm gonna try to finish this off with some pull-ups but 
Not feeling overly confident tonight. I'm gonna end there. My right elbow is hurting pretty good. So listen to your body. That's a pretty good workout for me. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And uh, so I'm gonna start to taper off my weights here for this week. I'm gonna be doing my hand and wrist stuff for tonight and tomorrow, and then that's it. And then I'm gonna be doing gym workouts for uh, the rest of next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll be doing legs tomorrow, Monday, uh, doing a workout, Wednesday, doing a workout, Friday, doing a workout, and then that's it. So, but it's going to be moderate weights. Tonight was the last real heavy workout except for legs tomorrow, but after that, moderate weights. I've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of research, and uh, for the next 12 weeks or 10 weeks, whatever it is, after March 12th, because March 12th is my team rankings. I'm taking that fairly seriously. I want to do well. Um, yeah, I've got some killers on my team, so I want to see what I can do. Um, anyway, after that, it's 12 weeks until the first tournament that I'm uh, attending. For those 12 weeks, I'm going to be doing mainly um, my gym workouts. Uh, you know, bench pressing squats, bent over rows, pull-ups, uh, curls, all that stuff. Everything that you see me do. Um, but I'm not going to be doing an overload of arm wrestling stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing hand and wrist stuff, but that's about it. And the reason why I say that is because I believe that I've reached a point where I've worked out so much that my tendons are actually damaged. And I don't mean damaged as in injured, but I mean damaged as in I'm not giving them any time to heal. So I see a common thread through most of the elite pullers, which is plenty of rest, plenty of rest, plenty of rest. I haven't. I take a week to 10 days off, maybe two weeks at the most before every match. And then it's right back to it. So with this 12 week block, I'm going to be focusing on my base strength, still cutting weight, still building muscle, all of that stuff. But I'm going to be giving my arm wrestling specific tendons a break, at least a little bit of a break. So there won't be any more volume days, there won't be any more max effort days um, for those 12 weeks. And uh, I say 10 because I'm still going to take that week to 10 to two, two, week, to two weeks off um, to see where I'm at. And hopefully I come back even stronger. And we'll reevaluate after that. Like I keep saying, you guys are along for the journey. This is a journey. I, have, I don't have all the answers. But I do notice that I feel very disconnected. Even though my lifts are stronger and all of that, I feel very disconnected on the table. And I can only attribute that to my tendons just haven't had a time to kind of heal up and strengthen up. So I'm going to give them time. Like right now, my right elbow in here, through here, through my bicep is just flaring. Um, now, granted, I pulled very hard last night, but still, uh, everything's flaring up all the time. Uh, so we're going to see where this leads. Who knows? Uh, you know, that's the one thing that I've been really trying to teach myself, and I guess I can pass it along to you guys, is uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So I'm trying my ass off to figure out kind of a formula for myself of how this is all going to work. So for these next few months, 
I'm going to be focusing mainly on gym time, hand and wrist, still want to keep my weapon strong, but um, it's not going to be heavyweights. It's not going to be a whole lot of volume. It's going to, I mean, well, comparatively speaking, um, it's going to be 500 reps of my pronation and rise every week with, let's say, 35 to 45 pounds tops. And it's going to be 500 reps of my cupping with same thing, 35 to 45 pounds tops. I'm going to take, you know, no volume, uh, no, you know, no off the pulley volume for the next 10 weeks. Everything is going to be, and no max effort stuff. Everything's going to be gym workouts and my hand and wrist. I'm going to build that base strength up, kind of take a, a chill on the arm wrestling tendon stuff and uh, see where that leads me. And then from there, it's going to be another, uh, what, two months to the next tournament. And I might do some arm wrestling specific stuff for like a month and we'll see from there but anyway there you go next step of my journey right so uh you probably won't see very much of me i got a workout tomorrow that i'll show the rest of the stuff is just gonna be moderate stuff so i don't know if you guys will be interested or not leave comments below if you are i'll show you the moderate stuff on, on monday wednesday and friday tomorrow i'll still post my squat day uh but yeah let me know what you think talk to you guys later